What's going on guys, it's Helvetica here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to figure out why your radiator fan won't come on. Your car is overheating, you're getting angry, you took it to a mechanic, the mechanic can't figure it out, and uh, you're at a loss. You're like, oh well, might as well freaking not worry about it and just run the car till it's dead, but it's most likely a very simple problem, and there are a couple reasons why your, reasons why your fan wouldn't come on for your radiator, but I'm going to show you the reason my fan didn't come on for the past four years. Mechanics couldn't figure it out. Uh, not, it wasn't my car, it was, my, it was uh, someone else's car, and then I owned the car and I was able to finally figure it out, but I'm going to show you guys how I was able to figure it out. Figure it out. And if you guys are wondering, this is my microphone, it's an iPod, but I'm using it as a microphone, so if you guys are confused by that, that's what that is. Let's get into the video, video. we're going to come over here to my car, and as you can see here, this is a 2000 Mazda 626 with the V6 engine in it, and uh, this radiator fan here, the one on the left side is the AC fan. This fan is the cooling fan. This fan will come on automatically uh, when the engine warms up to cool off this side of the radiator. And then, when you turn your AC fan on, or when you turn your AC on, both fans should come on at the same time. This one uh, had never came on automatically. You can see the green wires back there. We've, um, the person that owned this car before tried to w run their own wires to turn it on manually so the car wouldn't overheat. Uh, was successful and un unsuccessful. We think that's why the radiator went out. Or not the radiator, the uh, alternator went out one time, so... Yeah, it can be very costly and cause many other problems, but what we do here, let's take a look, is, you see the fuse box? Come over to the fuse box, we lift it up here, and we're looking around, we see the AD fan. That's this fuse. Of course you want to check this fuse, this is the additional fan, that would be the AC fan fuse. So check your fuses first, check your AC relay, this is the air conditioning relay. What you can do is pull your, uh, another relay out, what I like to do is pull out the horn relay, and put it in the AC relay, or just take the AC relay and try to honk the horn. So you'd take the AC relay out and put it in the uh, spot where the horn relay goes, and then you would honk your horn. If your horn honks, then you know the relay is actually working, and you can switch it back around, and that's not your problem. But you can see here, these are three other relays. The fuse box does not list what these relays do. On this 2000 Mazda 626, this relay is for the cooling fan. This relay is for the AC fan, and this relay is for both of these relays. So... This relay actually was the culprit for the past four years when the uh, previous owner owned the car. This fan wouldn't come on because of this relay. And uh, it's actually crazy that this fuse box doesn't list it here. Uh, it probably does somewhere in the owner's manual, but it's very hard to find. I couldn't find any info on this online. And uh, yeah, so how you can test this out is you can remove this relay. And uh, I know it doesn't look like any of these, but this is actually the same relay as this. So you could put this relay in this slot but not this relay in this slot. So you couldn't really take this relay out and put it in the horn relay slot and then honk your horn because the casing is bigger. But what you could do is take the horn relay out, put it inside of the uh, relay right here, and then see if your fan comes on. Now, you may not have the AC fan problem, but that's what this problem was, so definitely check this relay. Uh, if you have a different car, it might be a relay like this somewhere that's not listed under your fuse box, but definitely look up AC fan relay or cooling fan relay. If it's your cooling fan, and it's not the relay over there, that's definitely what I would recommend because that's what it was for me and I was just so shocked when this came on after I put the horn relay in the AC fan relay spot and the fan came on, I was very surprised. So, I would definitely check your relays, fuses, all that, even the fuses in the inside of the car and I'll show you where that is located in just a second. If the fuses and relays are not your problem, then it's probably something else, it might be your cooling fan and the reason your cooling fan wouldn't come on Maybe because of a sensor like this. If we come over here, get a good shot on this relay, this goes right into where the radiator, the top radiator, the upper radiator hose, this comes out of the radiator and goes into the engine block. This is the coolant temp uh, coolant temperature sensor, or the coolant sensor right here. And uh, it takes like a, I don't know what, what size socket that is, but you can loosen it up and pull the sensor out. And mine, I did actually replace it because I think that other fan did have a problem coming on and off. And uh, this was very corroded and basically just broke apart in my hand. So this is like a $5 part. Definitely replace that if that does look corroded and uh, all messed up. And uh, in order to find this for your specific vehicle, you can just type in coolant temperature sensor location for your cooling fan. And uh, you should be able to find it and then check it out to see if it's in good condition. So on this Mazda 626, it is right here. If you get a good look at the engine, the whole engine, you can see it's right next to this red radiator cap right down in here. Get a close up on it. Come on in here. And you can see it's this sensor right here, the one that goes down. Not this one, not these, it's this one. So if th there you go. I mean, that's basically the rundown uh, of the issues that I had with this Mazda. I just want to help anyone out that has a Mazda, or maybe this will work on another car, probably like the uh, the Probe, Telstar, MX-6, whatever. 
uh, basically any similar engines, maybe even some other cars, like, I don't know, different brands that aren't similar to this car. Because, uh, I mean, it was really a simple problem. It was this relay right here, and I couldn't find any information about it, so I thought I'd make a video. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos on cars and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.